only 1% of fans know this about It's Funny. Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button and comment down below I subscribe for a chance to win a shout out giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Game Frenzy. Pretty much every Roblox player knows about It's Funny. I don't know why this is so hard for us. Let's go. <laughs> I don't want Batman to get us. <laughs> I know, I don't, I don't want Batman to get us either. She is a sensation in the Roblox family and is also famous for the content that she uploads on her channel with her sibling. Aside from gaming, there is substantially more to her story, which quite a lot of people might not be aware of. Let's talk about It's Funny secrets that only 1% of her fans might know. Number five, the crucial time for the family. In an ongoing Q&A video with her siblings, she told that her family had a personal restaurant. It's funny and her kin used to work there since they were in secondary schools. She considers it a bad dream of her life as it wasn't what she expected to be. She would work tirelessly on weekends and a few weekdays clearing the dining area and getting limited money on her exhausting work. As per her, this was a tough time for her family as after shutting down the cafe there would be arguments and battles among the family. The business got them into debts and they needed to close their cafe for eternity. Number four, Roblox as hobby. Everyone knows it's funny since we saw her making videos related to Minecraft and Roblox, yet it's false. The first video of her was about an alternate game known as Grand Theft Auto. She, along with her siblings, couldn't get enough fame thus. They changed to Minecraft. The primary videos of Minecraft they uploaded were about machinimas and those videos hit more than 1 million views. She specified she began it as a hobby and was going to get over it during her secondary school. Later on, she made sense of an approach to Roblox. Number three, a bad accident. During a trip to Los Angeles, she booked an Airbnb house which as per her was spooky. She went there with her siblings and they portrayed it as creepy. The majority of the things in the mansion were antique TVs, paintings, and weird statues. Later on, while they were in their rooms to rest, a fire had started and her family thought it was just an awful scent and didn't give any consideration to it. It was the point at which the alarm went off that they understood what was going on. Luckily, the firemen saved them. Luckily, it wasn't any ghost, it was only an alarm and a terrible mishap. Number 2, The Crew Since the beginning of her channel, she hasn't been making her content alone. Her siblings are equally famous too. They are as one referred to on YouTube as The Crew. Her gathering is made out of five of them, including her. They are known as Golden Glare, Draconic Dragon, Lunar Eclipse, Painting Rainbows, and It's Funny. Together, the crew has made ample videos. They have done role plays of a lot of characters in the game. For instance, Yandere High, the Roblox family, and others. It's pretty amazing how the five have figured out how to make such stunning videos with incredible coordination. They all live in a huge house together and share a similar measure of adoration and regard for one another. Additionally, she, alongside with the crew, has made a vlog, giving their viewers a detailed tour through their home. She regards her cats and three dogs as family as well. Number one, camera shy. She discusses her being shy since her childhood. At the point when she entered another school, she was alarmed due to the new faces around her. The children used to think she was a weirdo as she was constantly reluctant in making new companions. Besides, when she began her channel, she was very anxious and was frightened to put up voiceovers in her YouTube recordings. She set aside much effort to be okay with all the fixings and later on, she turned into a comedian of the family. She constantly wanted to brighten up her parents' day when they used to return home tired after work. It's funny uncovered her face when the first Q&A recording was uploaded on the channel in 2018. She hasn't been a face cam individual since the beginning. The entire crew wasn't confident at all with doing voiceover or showing up before the camera for their projects as of not long ago. Her channel has around 5.76 million followers and it wasn't until the count hit a massive number that they showed up on camera just because of the crowd. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen now because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I will see you in the next video.